Picture this. A century ago, when scientists first peered beyond our galaxy, they were astonished to find an expanse teeming with celestial wonders. First, it was just hazy spots in the night sky, then entire galaxies, each one filled with countless stars. But what if I told you that the more we discover, the more we realize just how much we don't know? Imagine if the early universe wasn't a tightly packed explosion of matter, but instead emptiness, an abyss so vast and mysterious, it could defy everything we thought we knew about the cosmos. And here's where things get wild. What if Albert Einstein predicted this emptiness a hundred years ago? Yes, you heard that right. It turns out the man who gave us E equals M, C squared, might have been right about something far more mind-boggling than we ever imagined. Let's rewind to the early 20th century, a time when the cosmos was a mystery even more enigmatic than it is today. Astronomers started to explore the space beyond our Milky Way, and their discoveries were nothing short of breathtaking. Nebulae were identified as distant galaxies, and Edwin Hubble came along, observing that these galaxies were actually moving away from us. This was the birth of the concept of an expanding universe, and soon after, the Big Bang Theory, the idea that everything started from a single, infinitely dense point. Einstein, with his theories of relativity, had already shaken the foundations of physics. But he also made a lesser-known, yet profound, prediction he believed that even if the universe had a beginning and an end, we would never be able to see them. But why would Einstein say such a thing? What did he know that others didn't? Einstein's reasoning was both simple and revolutionary. He argued that in the beginning, right after the Big Bang, there was no light. That's right, no light at all. Scientists call this period the Dark Ages, a time before stars and galaxies were born, when the universe was a dense soup of particles. How could we possibly see something that emits no light? Telescopes, no matter how advanced, would be staring into pitch darkness, into a cosmic abyss where nothing visible exists. Fast forward to today. The James Webb Space Telescope, the most advanced telescope humanity has ever built, is now peering deeper into space and time than ever before. And guess what it found? A strange void an area of seemingly nothingness in the early universe. A discovery that just might confirm Einstein's wild prediction. So, what was Einstein's prediction? Simply put, Einstein believed that even if there was a Big Bang, there would be two major reasons we'd never be able to see the beginning of the universe. First, because of the lack of light during those early cosmic dark ages. And second, because of the universe's continuous expansion. According to Einstein, as the universe expands, its starting point gets further and further away, always staying just out of reach. It's like chasing a horizon that keeps moving away as you get closer, a cosmic game of hide and seek where the universe always wins. Einstein even flirted with the idea that the universe might be curved, meaning its beginning could be hidden beyond some sort of cosmic horizon, forever beyond our gaze. A century ago, with telescopes barely able to spot neighboring galaxies, this seemed plausible. But today, we know of billions of galaxies, and we've developed telescopes powerful enough to peer back 13.6 billion years to the very brink of the Big Bang. Yet still, we find nothing. Now, let's get back to the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. You probably heard about its incredible discoveries. Ancient galaxies that formed sooner than we thought possible, and even galaxies so massive that they challenge our understanding of cosmic evolution. But there's another discovery that's gone under the radar of void, a seemingly empty region in the early universe that stretches across an unfathomable distance. But hold on, isn't the universe supposed to be uniformly filled with galaxies, stars, and other celestial objects? According to the Big Bang Theory, it should be. Yet, here we are, staring at an empty patch of space where there should be something, anything. Some scientists suggest that this void could be a relic of the Dark Ages, a time when the universe was too young for stars and galaxies to have formed. Others believe that it could represent something far more significant, a proof that Einstein's prediction was correct that there are parts of the universe, even from its earliest days, that we will never be able to see. So, what exactly is a void? 
Imagine a region in space so empty that it defies our understanding of physics. These cosmic voids are not just areas with fewer galaxies. They are vast expanses where there seems to be almost nothing at all. And yet, these voids are a key feature of our universe. We know of voids that exist much closer to us in both space and time, but an ancient void from the dawn of the universe? That's new. And it's not just any void. It's a massive expanse where we expected to find the bustling activity of the universe's infancy. Instead, it's just nothing. Some scientists speculate that this void could be a dark galaxy. A galaxy that formed but never lit up. Or perhaps something even more exotic, like a hidden doorway to a parallel universe. Crazy, right? But when it comes to the universe, the truth is often stranger than fiction. Could it be that this mysterious void is actually the birthplace of our universe? It sounds like science fiction, but let's think about it. If the Big Bang happened, it means the universe started from nothing, or at least from a singularity, an infinitely small point with infinite density. So, is it really that far-fetched to think that a void could have been the catalyst? There are theories that suggest our universe could have started in a large, empty void where quantum fluctuations sparked the creation of matter. Think of it like a calm pond where a sudden ripple creates a wave that grows and expands. But here's the kicker. What if that void still exists? What if it's hidden at the very edge of our observable universe, where even the James Webb Telescope cannot see? To add more intrigue, let's talk about singularities, those mind-bending points of infinite density. We know them as the centers of black holes, which are scattered throughout our universe often found at the heart of galaxies. But no one has ever been inside a black hole to see what's really there. Could it be that singularities and cosmic voids are somehow connected? Could they both be the remnants of a cosmic beginning that we are not yet capable of understanding? Or, even wilder, could they be the fingerprints of a multiverse, where each universe begins as a void, or a black hole, or even something stranger that we can't even comprehend yet? So... Where do we go from here? The James Webb Space Telescope has given us a glimpse of the unknown, but it's clear there are more questions than answers. Will future observations help us solve these cosmic mysteries? Can we get closer to understanding these voids? Or will they forever remain out of reach, just as Einstein predicted? Some scientists are hopeful. They believe that with more data, more powerful telescopes, and perhaps even a little help from artificial intelligence, we might one day see beyond the cosmic horizon. Others argue that there are some things we may never know, that the universe is just too vast, too complex, and, dare we say, too clever to give up all its secrets. But isn't that the beauty of science? The more we discover, the more we realize how little we actually know. From Einstein's groundbreaking theories to the James Webb Space Telescope's awe-inspiring discoveries, we're constantly reminded that our universe is a place of infinite wonder and mystery. So, whether we ever see the true beginning of our universe or not, one thing is certain. The quest for knowledge will continue. And who knows? Maybe one day, we'll find out that Einstein was right about a whole lot more than we ever gave him credit for. Stay tuned, keep wondering, and remember, sometimes the greatest mysteries lie not in what we see, but in what we have yet to imagine.